<laughs> the underwater world is a complex web of life with feeding activity at all levels. From microscopic plankton to bait fish, on up to savage predators flaunting sharp teeth and powerful jaws. When things are stable and orderly, all seems deceptively peaceful. But as soon as creatures behave out of the ordinary, they stand out in the crowd, drawing attention and becoming vulnerable to attack. Erratic motion sends out a signal to nearby predators, triggering even disinterested fish into sudden, instinctive feeding frenzies. They immediately zero in on weak and disoriented prey and move in for the kill. Once their advantage dissipates, order is restored and calm reigns until the next opportunity arises. Today, on the edge, we examine the unique evasive action of Rapala's scatter wrap lures, whose wide lip design imparts sudden bursts of side to side action before returning to their intended path. They capture the erratic vulnerability of panic bait fish simply by varying retrieve speed to make them dash and dart with seductive fish catching appeal. But the nice largey, <laughs> he ate that baby. Wow. You know, it's always a good thing to be one of the first ones on your favorite lake to fish one of the newest, hottest baits out on the market. What does it mean? It means fish like this chewing on something that they've never seen before. And one of the hottest baits around, or to come around in a long time, is the scatter rabbit. coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 imaging, only from Hummingbird. In fishing, nothing beats the confidence and enjoyment that comes with using the best equipment. There's a reason why generations of professional anglers, guides, and camp operators make Lund their boat of choice. They stand up to the elements and the repeated use that hardcore anglers put them through, season after season. They're guide-tested, wilderness-proven. Isn't it time for you to experience the Lund difference? For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are, but now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other, so you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, 
follow any Lake Master depth contour and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk and you'll be speechless. Closed captioning provided by Freebill. Right, right there, right underneath. Oh, it's a large oh, it's a nice large. Nice large. Boy, nice he ate large. that Man, one. He ate that sucker, Jer. Oh, mackerel. That's the right I don't attitude. See, I don't see nothing in his mouth, man. <laughs> yep, there we go. Got him. Got him. Just a regular. No size. That's just a couple pounds. Fun one. Fun one. I think it might, you know, is it large or small? It's large. It's large. Largey. Holy smokes. You liked that sucker, didn't you? Oh. You think you wanted to eat that bait? <laughs> Look at that. Ah, just another nice one, but boy, oh boy, are they nipping. Look at that, just a back hook again, huh? Fat soles, little head, big body. That is a really, really beautiful largemouth. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. <laughs> he ate that baby. Wow. You know, it's always a good thing to be one of the first ones on your favorite lake to fish one of the newest, hottest baits out on the market. What does it mean? It means fish like this chewing on something that they've never seen before. And one of the hottest baits around, or to come around in a long time, is the scatter wrap. Rapala scatter wraps have one of the most revolutionary design concepts I've seen in years. Their wide saddle shake bill is the driving force behind our unique scattering action. At slow to moderate speed, scatter wraps run straight and true, but once they reach a certain speed, they begin to veer erratically from one side to the other, imitating a panicked bait fish before returning to a straight path. Speed is the primary factor determining the degree of scattering action. The faster you move them, the more dramatically and often they scatter. There's a scatter wrap minnow, a shad, a crank, and even a scatter wrap countdown that sinks when paused and then swims back at a desired depth. Each model has a different profile to match common forage species. These baits unlock a whole new dimension to presentation. Oh, he's got company out. He's got company down there. What? Big brown. Is it? Yep, big brown. There's two or three with him. Whoa. Look at him. See him? He's trying oh, to yeah, grab it. He wants that scatter wrap. Oh, I almost got oh, it. almost doubled. I had the other one on it. <laughs> I almost had two on one. That's a good bait. Yeah. That is a really, really, really <laughs> nice fish. Look at that. Crunched it. Crunched it first spot of the morning. Come here. Look at the size of this brown right here, huh? <laughs> Man, it's amazing, isn't it, how that that action that's just built built right in, you know, a lot of crankbaits here, just constantly pumping the rod and using mechanical action to make the lure work, but this particular one, man, it's just off to the side, 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 you can see right there, I had one grab it, the other one wanted it, really is magical. Wow, wow, wow. I thought you were going to double up on that I did that too. One. Well, you saw my drag started slipping. He, I had the other one he, on. He was on. He bit, yeah. I had a fish bite the lure from the other fish's mouth. Got yep, it. there Got you it. go. Nice, Al. Largey, largey. Large and in charge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. You know, we're just about, you know, we're pushing 52 degrees. And uh, that's time that some of the largemouth, they'll, they'll start waking up a little bit. Yeah, you know, and, and you can start to get a crankbait bite. You know, in, in around 50 degrees or so, these largemouth will, from our experience, you know, you know cranking will start to be a factor, along with a number of other baits. Depth, speed, size, color, 
action. Scent and sound are key factors that trigger fish into striking. There he is. There, there, there. Good one. Yeah. Okay. Today we'll add a new factor to this lineup. Direction? Let's focus on two of these factors, namely speed and direction. Speed is a very important trigger no matter what species you're after. Sometimes you can't reel a bait fast enough. Ooh, got oh, got nice. Her. Right at the got bottom. Her. Right Beautiful. There. Whoa. Whoa. What is it? Oh! Oh, That'll cool. get your attention. <laughs> Boy, that sucker came out. <laughs> Other times, you need to let the bait soak in the strike zone for an extended period of time to even get the lightest bite. You know, got fit. Looks like a good fish. Look at it. It's coming up. He's coming up. Nice fish. Another oh. nice beauty. There's a learning curve every time you're on the water as to how much speed fish will respond to. Obviously, you want to fish lures as fast as the fish will strike them, allowing you to aggressively cover water and still get back. Yeah, I think I got you beat, though. I think I got you beat. Double whammy. Next, let's focus on direction, or should I say directional change. Many fish instinctively react to sudden changes in lure direction. It's like a cat pouncing on a ball. They don't think about it, they simply react. The scatter wrap family of lures is the first of its kind to have horizontal directional change built in due to this unique lip design. At slower speeds, they track straight. Increasing your retrieve speed creates additional pressure against the large saddle-shaped lip, forcing the bait to veer from side to side. They knuckleball back and forth, yet always stay in tune, returning to the center. Even inexperienced anglers can easily unleash their distinctive scattering action. You know, both Jeremy and I are using our bait casting rods to throw the scatter wrap crank on. And I'm using a, a Quantum XO with a smoke reel on it, 10 pound test, suffix fluorocarbon on uh, this rod. And we're throwing spinning rods with 832 on smoke, a smoke rod and reel combination. This is a a six foot nine medium action with a, sm a smoke 25 on it. And it just fishes really, really good. This bait is a little bit lighter. And you could, got him? Got him. Good one, it looks good, Feels looks good. good. Small mouth. Brownie? Yep, oh. oh, he punched it too. So that's the mix. Throwing the shad with the spinning rod, 832 fluorocarbon leader on it. On a smoke rod and reel and a bait cast than any other bait. That just fishes a little bit easier with that type of rod and reel combo on each style of bait. There we go. There we go. But hey, their attitude is changing. That one just airballs it. You know, you got that tight line, you're reeling a bait in, it's got that good thump and everything disappears. You go, yep, I just got cracked. I just got cracked. Not a giant, but it's amazing how over the course of a day, especially in the spring, you see just a, a bump or two in water temperature and the activity level really, really picks up. And it's not a bad idea to cover areas you might have covered in the morning and not contacted much. Oh, and Al's got another one. Oh, yeah. He'll come back a little later. He's got a nice fish there. Another nice, nice large, large mouth. mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Nice mouth. Yep. Doubled up. You doubled got, up. I got a too? big large mouth. Whoa. 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 They're everywhere. They're oh, everywhere. I lost oh, they're mine. everywhere. I'm gonna yeah. use the tail in here, Al. <laughs> Lock us in. This is a good-looking zone. <laughs> we got the. When you get doubled. I just lost mine. We just got one on right now. You got doubled. It's worth it. I mean, this tool, when it first came out, thought, yeah, I could see that a little bit. Springtime bass fishing. You can't imagine how useful it is all the time. Launching, loading the boat, just taking a break to do something. You lock the thing down or you're doubling up on bass. That's another good time to use it, but it's a really incredible tool for fishing. Big bass sometimes go deep or relate to subtle changes in weed or wood cover that are invisible to the eye. Discover how technological advancements exposed untapped bass hideouts in bass electronics, part of our Angling Edge instructional DVD collection, available at anglingedge.com.
Suffolk Safe 32 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffix 832, always use the best line. Really? You're seriously just gonna leave me in here? Yeah, I'm fishing deep today, Ike. Are you kidding me? These are perfect additions for pulling big bass out of heavy cover. Yeah? Heck yeah! Try one of these weedless wacky jigs. All right, yeah. It, it has an offset hook and stainless steel weed guard. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Ike. Flip it in there, and it's wacky action will have you pulling out one fat bass after another. Please! I can't say anything. There she is, my first Mercury. 154 stroke, the lightweight heavyweight. And she comes with all this. Say hi to Wendy from customer support. She's always there to help. Jerry from product testing, he dishes out the torture. They can take it. Good. And Tim from design, he never misses a detail. Obsessed with quality. Bobby, prop engineer, he turns horsepower into performance. This is George. Florence. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. You're going to need to pick a boat. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. The little pocket of them there. We're over here. How about here in summer? It's a great deep cranking spot, that's for sure. Today's electronics are marvelous pieces of technology, and this hummingbird right here offers us side imaging, 360 imaging, incredible map information with Lake Master chips. But in the spring, one of the most important tools that electronics offer is one of the simplest, and it's just a thermometer. You, can, you need to pay attention over the course of the day in the places you're fishing what the temperature is like. A lot of times you might see in the back bays a temperature gradient of say five to 10 degrees from what the main lake will be. And those are likely places where fish will be hiding. And also hit areas where you might have seen fish say the afternoon before when the sun was out, you came through in the morning, there was nothing there, but the water temp jumps just a couple of degrees and you won't believe the difference you'll see in fish activity. It's one of those tools you certainly have to pay very close attention to because it can make a big difference how many fish end up in the boat over the course of a day. And we're covering a lot of water. You know, Al's got the, the Minn Kota set at about one mile an hour and he's just burning ground, boom, 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 cast after cast. And that's a perfect speed for me to be dragging a bait behind the boat. It's almost like trolling. Yep, yep, there she is. Oh, Al, I can hardly move this thing. Oh, Ooh. I seen a jumper. What color was I it? I couldn't tell. I really couldn't tell. I just got to go easy. I think it's a big brownie. It is? I think so, yep. That's fun. With the scatter wrap, what I've been doing, we're working a real sharp break here, and Al's throwing the scatter wrap crank, and he's just working it right down the edge. And I'm just kind of dragging it behind the boat, semi-trolling. And I'm achieving a little bit more depth than he is. And it's paid off for a few fish, but I want to just show you. Oh, he's puking craws, Al. He's puking craws. Right. Yep. And I guess that's a good color to match. I fished puking craws, <laughs> huh? But uh, when I get this, this guy back, I want to show you what I'm doing on this retrieve. It's so simple. One area is really a real good area. You know, that out. Okay. Nice little brownie, fatso, huh? 
So like I was mentioning, the system that we're doing right now, kind of a one, two punch with Al casting the crank right up at the bank for any shallow fish and then me kind of dragging behind, but you can't believe how simple it is to get this lure to work. And it's going like this. It's, it's kind of tracking and then it's going like this and it's going like this and it's going off to the side. And depending on the speed of your retrieve, it'll have a different action. So if you're reeling really fast, the bait is going side to side really fast. If you're going slow, it's a lot more subtle. So I want to show you how easy it is to work this. Watch, I cast it out and I go like this. That's how tough it is to retrieve it. Every once in a while I might pause it or speed up the reel handle, but that's all there is to it. And it's such a fun bite because you got that tight line, you're always in contact with the bait, you can feel it vibrating and then dunk. Oh, I just love it, I just love it, this is fun. There's nothing better than getting on the water in the spring. In our home state of Minnesota, ice out opportunities, for the most part, are limited to panfish and roughfish because of closed seasons. This is why we go north, where the bass season is always open. Northwest Ontario has countless lakes with great smallmouth fishing and some that offer both large and smallmouth bass. About a week or so after ice out, many of the bass make their way onto shallow flats and begin feeding heavily. The great thing is there's lots of spots and the water is set up perfectly for working a pattern. Here's what we look for. This is the kind of banks we're looking, looking at to be cranking. You can see these rocks, it's just broken boulders all the way down to that point, but they go way out here. I'm only in five and a half feet of water here and it's still flat. Those, those boulders move way out like this. These are the kind of uh, rocks we like to crank this time of the year. Rocks are good, good early season crankbait areas. Could be riprap in a reservoir or any place you get rock like that that extends out on a little bit of a flat. You know, a kind of a flat or a slightly 45 degree angle is good water. Really good cranking water. The real sharp stuff doesn't work. Yep, there she is. It's a big fish. It really is not doing much. I'm thinking it's a big walleye. It, it is, is a big good. walleye. It is big a big walleye, Al. That's what I like, a netting fish. I haven't had a netting fish. We don't net the bass. You net walk walleyes. He is on the draw with the oh, net. Oh, watch this. I knew them big donkeys would be here. <laughs> huh? I love it. <laughs> Ooh, barely hooked. Get the get the old fray build. This is yeah, that, the famous that, crankbait net. Yeah, this is that new oh, fray yeah. build made made for crankbaits. Yeah, and you're the man. Yeah, I love it. Oh, oh it she just come up. Off. Yeah, look, look at, at that. that. That is truly a wonderful multi-species lure. Today, that makes largemouth, smallmouth, northern pike, and a big walleye. <laughs> I'd say the scatter wrap is an incredible multi-species tool. You want to go out, cast the lure. Reel it in and catch tons of fish. The scatter wrap is the bait to do it with. Nice fish, huh? If you'd like to know more about fishing and vacation opportunities in Northwest Ontario, log on to northwestontario.com. Northwest Ontario, there's no place like this. Why take chances with your engines? Protect them from neglect, wear and tear the easy way with Seafoam Motor Treatment. Seafoam maintains optimum engine performance by removing harmful deposit buildup from your engine and fuel system. It controls moisture and gas and diesel, stabilizes fuels for up to two years, and lubricates your engines to start easier, run cooler, and last longer. Trust all your engines with Seafoam, the choice of mechanics for over 70 years. Are you finding it harder and harder to spend time with your family? All you need is the right place to reconnect. <laughs> Big walleye, Dad. Got it. Here we go. This is fun. <laughs> Northwest Ontario, your place to reconnect.
The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. Hey, in a current issue of In Touch Magazine, there was an article in here by Dr. Charles Stanley. And uh, it talked about uh, discerning the Bible. And it hit a number of points in there. There one point, and he explained in detail, to recognize God's voice, to discern God's will, to make wise decisions to distinguish good from best, to distinguish truth from error, to avoid being deceived by sin, to distinguish between legalism and liberty, to communicate with others. One of these really got my attention and got me thinking. It was number five, to distinguish truth from error. We desperately need a discerning spirit to recognize deceptions. Much of what we see in here is based on a perspective influenced by the world and Satan, the father of lies. Even our school systems are plagued with error. Beginning in elementary school, children are taught that we're a product of evolution. Universities continue the indoctrination with godless ideas and intolerance of a biblical worldview. Now, I'm I know I'm going to get some questions from you on this one, and I'm going to get a lot of emails, but I'm going to say it anyway. The first thing that popped into my mind when I read this was an ad that I often see on television for an organization called Ancestry.com. And if you go to it, you trace your family tree. And uh, you see it regular on a lot of networks. My question for you is if you go to Ancestry.com and you're tracing your family tree and you go back far enough, will you somehow come to see an ape? On there and then, somewhere along the way, will that ape transition into a monkey? And then maybe that monkey will transition into a chipmunk, and a chipmunk into a mosquito, and maybe eventually a glob of goo sitting in a swamp. How many of you actually, truly believe what I just said? How many of you actually, truly took the time to think about it? That's something to think about this week. That's the seed I want to plant with you. Hey, from all of us here at the edge, you have a good safe fishing season. We'll see you in the water. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets.